Hello there, it's been a while. If you've been following the World Team Championships that's been going on, then we have the final between China and Germany tomorrow. And I just wanted to take some time to look at Germany's road till the finals. Before this tournament began, Germany had the second seed and in their group we had India, France, Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Their first match was against Kazakhstan and except for the first game where Kirill managed to take one set from Benedict. It was a comfortable 3-0 win for Germany. Their next match was against India and boy did that match have some surprises for them. Satyan Gnanshekharan played some brilliant table tennis to take down Cho Dang and Benedict Duda. And Germany's third, Ricardo Walter, also went down to Manov Thakkar. After this loss, things were not looking very great for Germany. In fact, this was like a fresh new Germany team. There was no Timo Boll, Ovcharov or Franziska. And the absence of the experience could be felt now. And from this point on, Germany had to win all their matches in order to still secure a berth in the top 16. Next up, their match was against France with the Lebrun brothers. And they also had to make sure that they won with a good enough margin because in case of a three-way tie later down the road, they would need all the difference that they could get. In this match, fortunately, Cho got his mojo back and defeated Alexei as well as Felix Lebrun. This time they also changed their order and playing third we had K Stumper. And I think the third match was a crucial one and I think K did quite well to defeat Emmanuel in the decider. Well now with a 3-1 win over France, the last group stage match was against Uzbekistan which they managed to win 3-0 comfortably. At the end of the group stage, France did well to defeat India with a good margin to top the group 2 table, while Germany came in second for a round of 16 clash with Croatia. Perhaps there was some resistance expected from Andre Garcina. But it was a strong performance and Germany managed to win 3-0 again. K doing well to defeat the higher ranked Tomislav Pukar. And now into the quarterfinals, Germany had to face France again. In the group stage, it had been a straightforward 3-1 win for Germany. But would they be able to repeat the performance? In the first match, Benedict Duda did quite well to go up 2-0 against Alexei. But then ended up losing 3-2. Oh! 
In the second set, it was expected that Cho would take down Felix, but Unexpectedly, the youngster played quite well in order to put Germany in a tight spot where a comeback seemed improbable. K delivered again and defeated Jules Roland to give Germany another fighting chance. And finally, in the matchup between Cho and Alexei, Cho overcame the initial upset from before and defeated Lexi and we're now finally into the decider of the match that is Felix Lebrun versus Benedict Duda. <laughs> Given that Felix defeated Cho, Germany's strongest player, things did look a little dicey here but Duda came through and Germany won 3 2. And finally, the semi final match today was against Korea, having a very infirm Jiang Wu Jin and other very strong players as well. Unexpectedly, Benedict Duda defeated Jiang Wujin in their encounter to give Germany a 1-0 lead. But again, surprisingly, Anjay Yun staged an incredible game play in order to defeat Cho Dang, leveling the score at one all. K Stumper, having not lost a single game so far, lost to Cho Sing Min in the decider. Surprise factor, but still surprisingly quick forehand. Yeah! Oh, what a way to win it! Oh. In the tie between the strongest players, Cho Dang defeated Jiang Wu Jin, and we were finally headed again into the decider. Where Benedict Duda again came into his own and defeated Anjay Hyun to take Germany into the finals. What a rally to finish it off! And there you have it. That's the journey to the semi final. A very uncertain one where each member faltered sometimes and had to withstand under pressure and bring out their best game in order to get to this point. And although China is a very strong team and a defeat seems very unlikely, I'm still excited and looking forward to seeing the match between Germany and China tomorrow. What about you? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.